The next one is when the world is COVID free or, or COVID is under control, what do you think the impact will be on disruptive innovation in those companies? Right. Uh, it's been very interesting to watch stocks behavior, uh, stay at home versus no stay at home stocks, uh, meaning back to work stocks. Uh, and if, if you look at stocks like uh, Zoom, it's, Zoom has been cut in half since uh, last August or September. We, we believe that there's no turning back from innovation, uh, that innovation is more convenient, uh, faster, more productive, cheaper, more creative, and so, sure, we met the stay at home. We're moving perhaps from stay at home to back to work, but not in a wholesale way. So uh, that all of these newfound services um, uh, are are still just because of that phenomenon, working remotely, are still going to have an play an important role. But more importantly, I think anyone even who is going back to work. Uh, is going to continue to find new use cases for these technologies that they really had never experimented with, never had tried. Uh, and if they are better, cheaper, faster, then um, then I think uh, innovation, which uh, which it was turbocharged because of the coronavirus crisis, you know, it was turbocharged because it was solving some very big problems, uh, ha has opened people's eyes up to you know how they can make their lives altogether better um, and not just when we're in a crisis. So uh, I, 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 as you know, because uh, uh, of uh, the way we post our trades, uh, we've uh, been dabbling in some of these stocks because uh, we think their, their, their futures are very bright.